Hello, Dame Helen, how are you doing? Hi, good, thank you. Oh, massive congratulations, of course. Um, so I just, I guess, I believe this, uh, this lifetime achievement makes you the most decorated person to uh, receive it, you know, alongside other, obviously, greats. How does, it, how does that feel? Really? And, uh, I obviously... didn't know that. That's pretty amazing. Oh. Well, there you go. So, well. Pretty amazing. That's, um, well, I have to say a lot of luck, you know, along the way. A lot of luck. Um, but um, as Kate said, I just believe in getting on with it, you know. <laughs> um, uh, you know, and not making too much of a fuss. So that, that's my approach. Brilliant. Done? Um, I think. Well, I, I was just wait, being. Um, I was waiting for someone to tell me to stop talking. But I guess, yeah. And as a proud Brit, I guess, how does it feel in that sense? Fantastic. I mean, to, uh, honestly, to get it from uh, American, the American Actors Guild is a, is a great honour. I've always been a great admirer of American film acting. Um, you know, from when I was working in the theatre, I, I always thought. I, I looked at them, wondering how on earth did they do it. Um, now I feel the same way about so many of the young British actresses that I was um, I mentioned in my speech. Brilliant. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, congratulations again. Dame Helen, Angela Bishop from Network 10 Australia. So heartiest and warmest congratulations Thank from you. down under. Um, can I ask, what is your all time favorite role? Is it the one that won you the most awards? Is it the one that was seen by the most people or is it a secret one? Oh, you know, they're, they're all very important. It's like when you're making a, you know, a dish, a wonderful dish when you're in the, in the kitchen, you know, all the ingredients are equally important. So all the, ingre the ingredients that have come together to make my whole career, you know, really they're all pretty important. The only thing I like to do is to constantly mix it up and, and, and you know, try different, different types of roles in different genres of films. Um, and always, as, you know, go back to the theatre whenever I can. Um, so just, just keep a real mix going. A minestrone. Hi, Dame Helen. I'm Heather with NBC in Los Angeles. Congratulations. It's such an honor to speak with you. Thank you, Heather. Thank you. So I have to ask, I heard you tell Yvette Nicole Brown earlier on the red carpet that um, one of the things you've learned it, throughout your career is to be true to yourself. Can you talk a little bit more about some ways that you have been true to yourself and um, any more uh, projects you have coming up uh, where we can see a little bit more of you? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it's, um, you know, often if you're choosing a, a, a job, you know, some if you're lucky enough to have a choice between two jobs, it's always a very difficult moment. You know, should I do this one for the money? Should I do that one for the person I'm working with? And then you have to really say, no, which one really speaks to you? Which one is really close to your heart? Um, I had that very recently in a film called The Duke that I did with Jim Broadbent. Um, it's not a leading role, you know, but I, I just loved the story. I loved the character, and that was a moment that I, and you know, it wasn't like a big payday or anything. But, but I just did it because it felt right to me. Uh, it, it was a role that I, I just identified with and loved. So you know, it's moments like that, moments of choice, really. Thank you very much again, and congratulations. Thank Are we done? Yes. Oh, good. Yes. Lovely. Thank you, guys.